Hey, everybody. I hope you're all doing well out there. I'm sitting here in LA in the rain. And for a long time, I have been trying to get this young lady here hey, to come on and share well some here. of everything she knows. And, and um, first thing I'm going to tell her is to turn off her speakers. <laughs> the echo. Uh, some of you outside of Germany, despite the fact that this woman has read, what, 11 or 12 books now? Crystal, uh, how many books did you write? 11, 12? 12, 12 books already, one is in, in, in work. And all and history books, everything from the East Wall uh, to something a lot more special that we're going to talk about today. And right. Right. like I said, for, for a while, and I, I am so damn happy that I finally got you talked into coming on here with me because there's so many things I want to ask and there's so many things people ask me that I can't answer because you are really the specialist on what is going on underground in especially Jonastal and especially in some of these special project sites that I've been trying to document what's on top of. You have been crawling around, literally crawling around, dragging yourself through mud and dirt and water, trying to do GPS and research of what's going on underneath. I must translate it for myself. Uh, hello, uh, hello at first, and welcome to my channel and to see what uh, we do here with Tino. It's wonderful to have contact. And uh, maybe uh, I think we have a lot, lot of themes to talk about that. And uh, I will do it like open end, and uh, I hope you have the time too. But uh, so what we can talk is everything uh, about that, and maybe we find an entrance to this theme the problem is for us that uh, we are only digging in his closed history by the government and so we must have very special uh, entrance and have a look for that and it's step by step we go deeper and deeper and that's one of the things you you've been looking for for the longest time because of what is actually underground in the whole area of the Truppe Übungsplatz, Jonasthal, and around it, and the towns around it, because it's been suspected. And like the books that was written by even Americans after the war, like Lucky Three, and that denotes they saw something huge underground, and it's just been covered up, it's been denied by everybody, nobody wants to talk about it, except for all the eyewitnesses, which they, you know, have, have conveniently enough just deemed like governments, they always ignore eyewitnesses if it doesn't suit them. And from the time of the war, there's been so many eyewitnesses that have seen this, and the government don't, the archives don't. So you started looking for this long before I did. How did that all start? Uh, I start 30 years before. And <laughs> the, the problem is for us, um, we must uh, take every one mosaic stone, small, found here one, found there one, and then we get a picture together. But it is very, very uh, hard to go uh, in history what other want to show. No, that is a problem. Where uh, the, the archives are closed for us to go in and say, oh, show me what you have. They say no. By the problem is the government don't want to open it. And the problem is, or uh, the uh, Russians and the Americans. Americans has not, not enough time to go inside this area. And the Russians have 70 years, uh, or sorry, 50 years to go inside. And when you have a tunnel and you have a break in the tunnel ex by explosion, then you don't, must understand if you go in or you don't go in. And it is easy to not go in. And then they don't know what is behind this explosion. And the German closed every uh, a tunnel, what is going up from the main tunnel to the side, what, where is a, a factory for rockets, where is a factory for uh, planes, or where is an underground airport. That is, that is all closed for, for years. And if you don't want to go in and dig there, you go don't know what is behind. So basically what happened towards the end of the war was that what we see in Jonastal today, those little 25 tunnels, are almost like a diversion. They're not it. 
you mu must make it different. The difference between Jonas Tal, what you see with the tunnels, and the difference about the area Avo, we talk, Arnstadt, Wechmar, Ordrov. That is a, 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 a area of the um, uh, Truppenübungsplatz where the, where the, where the army is uh, working. And so when you put it outside, as a, when, when you don't say it together, ah, Jonas Tal is starting to work on uh, November 1944. They have only uh, using the work in uh, so maybe uh, four months. That, that, that's four, uh, 20 uh, tunnels are made by four months. But it's not yeah. that what we talk about. That is a second no. or a third uh, part of working there. The we know or we, we search for the, for the first uh, part of uh, working. And uh, we have uh, information that will really start on 1932 or earlier. Yeah. So th this plan precedes Hitler. How, who, who started this? This was, was this military? Was this military industry? They started to do this in 32. Talk us through it. I think there's everything. There is military, there is um, factory, there is storage, there is um, uh, SS, there is Kamla, there is everything there. But on this side is one, this side is the other, and this side is the other. It's too uh, big, this area. And uh, the problem is, at last, they put all together and made a defense place for Hitler outside. And uh, uh, what we have found now in American and Russian uh, archive is the information that this area maybe is the Alpenfestung. What everyone is searching in uh, Austria or Bavaria is in Thüringen. And I actually felt a little silly when I say, was it military or was it industry? Because we all know that military and industry they go hand in hand together uh, right. then right. now still. So so they went there to develop or to build, construct. Uh, how? What, what, what were they eventually trying to do? <clears throat> the, the, the problem is uh, you, your um, experience by the hand is wonderful. But sometimes the left hand knows, don't know what the light, right hand do. That is the question. And uh, the, the, the problem is, uh, we have an area with underground factories, everything from, from, from all, but we know it, we don't know it all. But uh, at last they put together and want to make a, a, a bigger one. And uh, so we don't know what is there right now. That is a problem. We found here what something, we found here some, we have found a rocket, we found a, a plane, we found a, um, a, a factory. But the problem for us is, that is only stones by a mosaic. And we, we don't know everything. This, is, this pictures is not filling up. We have so much uh, space between what is not uh, one stone. And, and I will tell everybody, we're going to show you some videos and we're going to show you some pictures here. But for everybody, even those who don't speak German, I say you need to go to your channel, if you're not already looking there. Because if you the way you show, you do GPR everywhere. And the way you present the, the items that you find, compare them to what what, what the machine or piece of machinery is and looks like, it's amazing. And you don't need to speak German to see. I, that's why I love the way you present things, because people can see exactly what it is the GP, uh, GPS of, uh, GPR is finding. And you... you know, but the problem, and, the, we, we have one big problem. Um, till now, everything what we search, what we found, is only a few in ge uh, the georadar. The problem for us is uh, 2016 will be digging in Poland for the gold train. The people say, or, or, the, or the press made a gold train. What we found is only a tank train. And the computer of georadar don't think, oh, why you want to see here something? I made a train or I made a plane or something else. We found it and it's there. But the problem is we don't know at this moment that uh, Roosevelt and Stalin make 1944 in Potsdam a new law. The law is 
everything what you found behind the war is ours by the Alliad. And so the uh, Putin comes to this uh, digging there and say, oh, the gold train is our, and when you have that, yeah. we take the gold. And so the Poland say, uh, before we uh, have gold here to Putin, uh, we, there is no gold train, and so we go there with the press. And that is, we stop the digging by, we can't dig so deep. That is the main problem for us now. Then we have no, what we dig out and show, oh, here's a, a Girardin painting. And here is that area what we dig for. And that is the problem. We have no real. And so we can only uh, put this, uh, our, our Girardin and hope for the time where we can dig and where we can say, here is our radar, and that what we see is now founding. That is our problem to now. And so the, 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 the people was uh, the, not so trust us. They will be right. I will say it. They will be right. Before we have nothing in our hands, with, this is only our pictures, what we search for. But it is not a real uh, heart what we can take it. That is all of course, because you can't start. They won't let, of course, they won't let you dig for it if they think there's gold on board because they will have to hand it over to the Russians, which the Polish are not going to do. So I, I, I understand the political, that means the Polish are going to do it in secrecy when no one's looking, basically, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Theoretically. So that's gold. That's me. I understand that. But you found several indications of nuclear bombs found in Jonasthal. And now I understand some years ago, there was the ones that was found, that you guys found and they disappeared. I understand that, but there's a lot more to that story as well. By our group searching, I'm, I must tell we are a group and I was a leader or so on. I, uh, how many you will take it, uh, say it. Uh, so our group uh, has now a new story about the history. Uh, we found the atomic bomb in Jonasthal, and the G radar say it is the real bomb like the little boy. That is very interesting. You can see it show inside. And the, the American make one mistake in the history of 1956. <coughs> they made, made a video how it works, the atomic bomb. And in this video, there is a uh, part they show the bomb inside. And that is only what we have uh, with our georadar inside is the same one. And that is maybe the, the, the small mistake what we can use on my site, German uh, in Deutsch, deutsche-atombombe.de. I have the site where it is explained what is wrong on this story. And uh, we have other points that maybe... Perhaps, it is only perhaps we must think it. We have no right. The, the American don't say, okay, you are right. And so we must think about. And so on what we found is a break in the timeline of the atomic bomb from the first explosion on New Mexico mm -hmm. till the explosion on Nagasaki. There is a break. And the break is a bomb of Hiroshima. All bombs from the American are plutonium bombs. Only one bomb, Hiroshima, is an uranium bomb. And that is a very hard break. By the Germans, will be uh, worked on a uh, uranium bomb, and the American work by the plutonium bomb. So that is, for me, a wonderful thing to say, OK, we are right. But we have not the pol uh, political and archive material. The problem is the Amer American archives on this point will be safe for the next 50 years. Why? Well, because I'm sure the Americans don't like, first of all, to admit that it was the National Socialists who detonated the first nuclear device. And I don't think they're going to like admitting, which is ridiculous, because at this point in history, it doesn't matter where the bomb came from. It's just a matter of pride of ownership of who did it first. And I'm sure there's some political fallout, but they're all dead, so it shouldn't matter. But we, we always we, we saw what the Alsos team even said they found at Stad Ilm and other places. But a lot of the things in Jonastal was covered up before the Americans got there. Uh, all the underground. 
there's one, one sentence you say is wonderful, Alsos. <laughs> the chief of the Alsos yeah. was sitting in, uh, in the picture uh, behind the bomb where they built on the bomb. It's wonderful. The little boy is, uh, is lying there and so, uh, two people are uh, screw there something and behind is Groves in the picture. And Groves is the same picture with Roosevelt in Potsdam and he stay behind him. So why why everything is not say, uh, saying <laughs> that the bomb is German? <laughs> I was always under the impression that the Elsos team's report was they were sent out to find things the Americans could use and the report became a whitewash uh, to literally say, no, the Germans didn't do it, they didn't have it, nothing to see here. That was the whitewash report. And then they took the materials, like the 11 tons of uranium uh, ore they took from the Auerwerke before the Russians got there and brought all of this to America. You can tell it more easily. The winner writes the history. Lies have long legs. Was that Goering who said that? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Great. We're now quoting Goering. It's starting to be a good Sunday. <laughs> so, so do you think the Russians in the in the fifty some years they occupied the area? They found any of anything? Yes, yes, they found uh, something, but we <laughs> don't know what. There's, there, that is the same like you did uh, for a treasure. Uh, when yeah. I see the most uh, think, uh, uh, films in YouTube with treasure hunting and they show what they found, gold and some other, and uh, that's fakes. When you find yeah. a, a treasure, you will not say anything and nobody yeah. about that. And no. when, you, when, when you hunt for something and you dig there and you find a treasure of gold, then you don't make a, 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 a science there. Uh, here I am, found this treasure. You don't have dig there, it's gone. You no. don't do that. You, the, the Russians don't do that the same. That is the problem. We don't know what they take out for them. But what we found the planes, what we found the rockets, that they don't found not. <laughs> when they found from them, uh, it will be gone. That is, the Russian takes everything out what they found. And if you told the German authorities today what you found and where, that would disappear as well. No. Um, no. I, uh, the most points where I uh, searched for, or my group search, I was uh, uh, made it in, um, I was in, made it in press. But uh, where the group searched for is not going the the, the area we don't say here on this point we search we only say only say what we found but the problem is for us uh, we don't want that anyone want to dig there that yeah. is we don't say we don't say where the place is of the, course the problem is uh, i know every uh, place per, per, persons the when, when when you say there is a hole and there you must go in that is wonderful you you must wait one week and it is open that is it and that and we don't also. want. That we don't want. Uh, the problem for me is I was an historian uh, in uh, in by law. I have a uh, license in Brandenburg, and uh, so uh, I, I want to make my work like their law and like their rules. And uh, for me, it is uh, I sitting between two chairs, and yeah. uh, at one I will de declare everything. I will tell it here is something. Please make it like historian place and what they say oh it's no interest thank you but i mean in and this you... moment, but in this moment when we declare it then we have the problem when we dig it, when someone is digging it then it is uh, uh, um, it is offered and so we must tell nobody where the place is and nobody ask us i will i will tell it no problem but I would only will tell it to the audience outside and to have the chance that somebody is digging there. That's, that's, that's interesting because uh, you guys don't know, but the first uh, the first real conversation we had between you and I were uh, you were chewing my ass out for telling people where I was when I found something, and uh, it, it's, it's always nice to be chewed out by a lady. But you did you you. 
And I got it because what I may or may not have found, well, that was gone when I came back. And uh, this young lady here just roared into me and explained to me in no certain letters, and like a good German can yell at an American, about <laughs> how, not to, how not to put a coordinate on places. And if you have noticed, I have not done so in any of the videos I've done ever since about that area. Uh, yeah, I get but, it. I, I, now I saw. <clears throat> uh, but, but, but I think you make <clears throat> one mistake. Uh, when you stay on this area and you have uh, your radiation and you can search for the place where it is, why yeah. you don't have to look what they uh, why, why and from what from, from where it comes from so you yeah. have have made a photo you have made it you can see it you can dig there yeah. that is no problem but you go outside and uh, so uh, you, you put a film in internet and uh, so you are well controlled by german and i was controlled by german i know that and you have uh, yeah. the problem uh, you 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 go out put the video inside and they go there and have a look for what you, what you found but for me is a little question is why you found the after when you come back why you don't find anything or what is you must have in the ground uh, some one moment i have here to translate it um uh, i must translate it when i found the best word for it uh, rest okay rest is the same uh, in german uh, you must have a rest of uh, of the material or the radiation why you don't yeah. find nothing that is the question and that's like everybody will have, have written it off popular even the the local uh, fire department came out and it's interest it said oh there's nothing there my my equipment was broken i was like the yeah. day before the equipment was teamed up with another piece of equipment and it worked perfectly. So I don't know why it would break within one day. I, I don't, th and the way I found it, it was less when I went to one way than more when I went to the center, then it was less when I walked away from there. That's not how faulty equipment works. The, the uh, fire department from Jonas Tal came out and they tested and they said, oh, they didn't find anything. It was uh, bad equipment. And I saw the photo from where they said they went and the photo from where the fire department was looking was not where I was. They were on a field somewhere. So maybe we should run the GPS, uh, GPR over there sometime. Uh, I think I think uh, there's more uh, more, more uh, associations, and uh, uh, um, I think um, uh, there are more people with three. Uh, letters on <laughs> from the government uh, yeah there are more you have fbi and so on and nsa and with three letters and the same we have in germany and you don't uh, know yeah. who is coming there and found what you see uh, what you what you search for and we yeah. don't know we don't speaking know. of you were you were part of what happened when the uh was it two or three nuclear bombs were found in uh, what five six seven eight years ago yeah. Uh, you published a book on that as well uh, yes. that disappeared. Tell people that that story because they really should yeah. hear that from you. Uh, we we have uh, got from people who live in Arnstadt uh, some uh, some pa uh, papers uh, some some pictures. And interesting for us is uh, on the pictures you see uh, a drill car with with a drilling on it with ca uh, camouflage paint, and it is from the Netherlands. And you have a group of cars in this uh, part, uh, all from Netherlands. And then he say, uh, we get uh, many people meeting in uh, uh, storage. Uh, they buy their meals and talk American with uniform of Netherlands. <laughs> and then we have then we have the information from the government. You don't have to go to this place on this hill. It is closed. And then they come to drill there. They go in the tunnel, go digging to this point. How we, they made it, I don't know. We don't know that. And then the, the, we have one uh, couple, and they go there only for, for having fun on walk in the wood. And then they say, oh, it's a going a big explosion under our feet. It gives a very big explosion on the 16, no, on the 10th of uh, June 19, uh, 20, uh, 2016, 2016, Six, uh, 10 June 2016, I must translate it. Yeah. And so, so the problem is they say for, for us, 
it is a very big explosion in underground on this time, day. And I, we, I, we have this uh, in our book to, to tell it to the audience. And so after that, we get a paper from the government and say, you can walk there and please check your uh, Jira door. We think you are not white. Ah, so that's why you came back. And the, bo and the bombs are gone. <laughs> lovely uh -huh. story. It's a lovely wow. story. It, it just the fact that the, yeah, of course they would. So that's and that's the problem in that area is, is why why they can't know and. Uh, I so, think, uh, stop. I, I think uh, that is uh, the problem. Is we have uh, a, a special law in Europe in Europe in in the world. It is called Broken Arrow from the American, and Broken Arrow is only when they lost an atomic weapon, then the American has the <laughs> government law in Germany. They can uh, say the police where they must uh, close and so also on. And maybe uh, I think uh, it comes by this law. The American want to take this bomb out for saving his own history. The problem yeah, is yes. when we can say here are two, three, four, six atomic German bombs like this little boy in Germany in this factory. Then the American history 1945 is crashed. <laughs> that is our problem. And then I think they saved the history. Yeah, I, I agree. And uh, it, it's funny because in America, they hardly teach history anyway, and they're busy rewriting it. So it shouldn't be a problem, uh, <laughs> sadly. But it so so what you you found so much more out there. Uh, should we show them a little bit of some of what you actually do? Um, is this a? I, I, I was so happy, and uh, I get a private archive. And the uh, problem is, we don't know where this archive coming from. Uh, there's two or three uh, uh, ways uh, that we don't know the right one. Every one is uh, telling us it is from General J is a name, but we don't know that right. But uh, what we see in this archive, uh, maybe it is coming from the. Reichssicherheitshauptamt. It comes mm -hmm. from the special uh, organization of SS. And yeah. inside this archive, we have uh, we have so much information about the working in a special. Uh, I must uh, translate moment. Uh, sorry. Uh, in the background, we have so much information in the German background 1945 what is not telling the truth uh, in, 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 in the uh, uh, sorry <laughs> I have a little bit uh, 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 in the no oh, sorry uh, no worries uh, yeah but the problem is I have no light here <laughs> <laughs> and so I must search for my Publicity. Uh, the problem is uh, we have the, the the problem in in the public is the uh, is the story the history it is really read and write and now we must go for this um, this uh, archive and we must think new that is our problem yeah. and what we found is tunnel systems around this area what I tell here by Odorov we have tunnels for for 100, for 50, for 150 kilometers in every direction. And when you think like a uh, military, that is a wonderful tactic to save your area. When the enemy comes from one side, you can wait with this, uh, on, the, on the border and then you pick your, uh, your, your army out of the tunnel behind him. You can find from everywhere. Yes. And that is fantastic. But so long we can uh, make it um, one moment, uh, next word. Uh, so so we uh, can, can't prove it. That is our problem. We must go in one tunnel and can say, oh, here, 150 kilometers straight uh, like that. Uh, that is a tunnel from that paper, and then it is work. But the problem yeah. is for us, we have only the story. We must devise, we must, we must prove it. And that is our problem. And uh, we have on our papers in Europe four big factories around an area 
there were f factories with uh, uh, with with um, slave workers more than uh, thirty thousand uh, uh, people in one factory. They built yeah. uh, rockets. They built uh, uranium. They built plutonium. Whatever they s stay in, you can make your photo uh, number um, number five if you want. And uh, so for the audience, uh, we have made uh, some photos before that you can show you. And uh, we have, uh, you see that what we have here. No, number, you must uh, take one, five. So that one? That's one, be, one back, please. One back. One that back. One. So that one. So it looks like. So, and when you see that, that is uh, the information of one factory. Here is what they built, what they big, how big it is. Here stay where it is, uh, and we have for that uh, a, a card, a map. And on this map, uh, the entrance will be maximum thirty meters away from the map. That is so fantastic. And yeah. now, you, now you please make one more number six, and a little bit bigger, please. So it's the wrong way so here no one 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 back so and here stay nineteen thousand four hundred people slave workers will be on five fabrics on two fabrics for fecalion and then will be died on 12 uh, april 1945 that is staying in the middle of this uh, paper and so what we search uh, in our archive and declare, we found uh, 1,500,000 slave workers died in three factory areas. And uh, maybe, maybe, it is maybe, we, we, we have uh, only the factories on the plan and we see the entrance in the ground. And we make some uh, G radar. You can make uh, number two, please. maybe we have time hey. we have time we have time <laughs> so the this is number, number two. two no no number two is a, is a elevator this that's is number two. yes, yes. Oh. and that is uh, only an elevator you see the form of the elevator in the middle the brown one it's looking yes. like a rocket and in our archive is standing the information here is a rocket fabric and why you found an elevator, what is looking like a rocket. They, they, they uh, uh, bring the, uh, the, the rocket from the factory down up with an with a elevator in lying on the ground, picking up to the gro uh, ground, and they uh, transport it to the, um, uh, to, to the station to fire it. That is, a, that is one. And you, you make now one uh, picture back, please. And here is some uh, picture from our searching in the Ostwall. It's the same. It's building 1935. Yeah. And uh, it is completely building with here is an elevator inside with a stair around. And there we can see how they built and why. And so we can use this information for the other place by they don't cook uh, water un uh, other like uh, 100 degrees. And so they use yeah. it here, what we, what we see, and put it in the next bunker, and the next tunnel is the same. And so we have an elevator with this uh, pl place for a rocket. Because they, they, and they would build the same technique. That was one of the things that, yeah, that really that started good. in the 30s. Yeah, they were building the same way everywhere to make it easier. Yeah. And to back that up further is what Werner Grodmann, Himmler's aide, he said. He said a few things after the war said, one, we built a lot underground, but we also connected a lot. And there was a lot of cavities and old mines under Jonasthal to begin with. So when you start doing the calculations, if you have thousands of workers, you begin in 1932, and you start connecting some of the existing tunnels and cavities, it very soon, see, it actually becomes quite possible to build hundreds of kilometers so it's not as impossible as some people might think, oh, that's a, a, a crazy number. It's really not. If you have a honeycomb that already exists naturally, you don't have to just have to reinforce it and build what you need. 
And Grotman stated clearly afterward, after the war, that they had hidden a lot that they knew. Towards the end of the war, he said that uh, they knew they weren't going to be able to hide it from the Americans or, or, to, or, to hide, or to recover it. So they hid it. So they made a lot of hiding places. They covered it up. They camouflaged it. He admitted that. And he said that there's a lot of that that hadn't been found. And I think this interview was in the late 70s. So it, it's backed up by statements by the people who were there. Yes, yes, that's right. And uh, so uh, it is, you, mu you must think, uh, when 1945, the Germans know the end is coming. The problem for us is we don't think like them. We think like 20,000 to 23. And 1945, the people are have a, in their brain, they have, we win the war. That is only end seek. We win it. So the, the Führer has the special weapons. Yeah. And so we have a problem when you get the, when you lost your land. So there comes an uh, enemy army on the uh, land, comes to you, and you say, oh, here's my big factory. So I close it, I close our tunnel and cover it, put some uh, trees in the ground, and they grow and so on, and yeah. cover it, and the Russians don't found us. That is our, our uh, 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 time point now. We have yeah. found the factory by our archive, and we see what is inside, like rockets and so on. Please make a uh, picture number three, please. Yes, ma'am. One, two, three. Three? Here. That is oh. right uh, scanning in the tree here, uh, in, the, in the hill here. Uh, uh, that is vertical. That is not we go down. That is right. In, we, we stay in front of the hill. And you see the entrance of the tunnel. At last time, the, the, the Germans put all in the tunnel, put it in and, and pick it in and close the tunnel. So never found it till now. And we, we, we go there, say, oh, what's going on there? Uh, that, it looks like a tunnel now, but the material is digging down. It goes down by 70 years. You fill it up, it is closed. But after the time, it goes down with rain and so on. Yeah. And so we see, oh, here must be a tunnel. We make our Jira down, go so like that, and then we see a rocket. You can make the next picture, number four, please. And you see here, that is the same picture from uh, top, and you see the rocket, and on, on the top, one, 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 on the side, you see another place, another object. We don't know what is it, um, on our play, uh, card, stay. This is a, a, a stable for have um, these um, unflying objects of the Germans. <laughs> I don't know that is real, but when I stay behind and I put my fingers on, I say, okay, that is okay, that is real. But here we have two objects seeing uh, in this tunnel. It is a storage. Yeah. And there was a lot of conversations about rockets being launched from the Jonastal area in April, March, uh, towards the end of the war. Now, well, well, yes, well, late 44, there was rockets yeah, that would have been seen being launched from the area. Yes, and on this uh, thinking, we are back to the uh, Alpenfestung. You must know, uh, yeah. old men say for us, we have five rocket center around the area of um, uh, of Arnstadt, Abo. And we have found yep. one yep. rocket center at uh, uh, at the north. You can make num picture number 11 this moment. Oh. We must close. What? 11, 11. Eight. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> There one, there you go. No, no, one, one more. That, that, therefore, we come there. Here is it. So that is the photographic. We have two photographs from the georadar of this, uh, this special place. We have five. Uh, old men say we have five rocket station to defense the Alpenfestung. 
And interesting is, um, um, Karl Fiedinger was a constructor of concrete and tunnel systems from Austria. He works there. Yes. And after the war, he goes to America and built the rocket centers of the American yes. uh, uh, co intercontinental uh, uh, rockets. That's fantastic. He, he starts here to work uh, and to learn how to build that. Yes. It's like, why would the Americans bring him over to build missile silos if he has no experience from before? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. And, it, and, and so it's, it's, it's interesting that... Um, no, actually, I'll, I'll let you go on. No, but, no. Uh, I, I, I only want you to be all right. <laughs> one of the things I was thinking uh, is when you look at the way Patton's army went to Jonas Tal, went to Arnstadt very quickly, and they left the area, uh, they stopped, and then they waited for a little while for the area to be fine. Then they moved around the area that was said to be the Elbfestung. We the story a... about the Elbfestung in Austria, uh, or down by Austria, uh, where, where Patton's army was then sent, that was one that was fed to Alan Dulles in Switzerland. And it was always known that there really was no Elbfestung down in southern Germany. We know that now. There, there was no last stand. The SS was not there. Göring was in prison. Um, but it, it was an Alan setup. And I think it's important to think about if Alan Dulles wants the attention away from Thuringer, he will tell them, go here instead. So the whole army swung down to southern Germany while leaving uh, uh, your middle bar. Oh, your, your content is lost. It, it seems very possible to me. To me, uh, people, I mean, Himmler was in contact with Dulles through Schellenberg, through the Baron. Kamler most likely was in contact with Dulles. If they had done a deal with Dulles, then he would know where to look. Like Kamler handed over to a Middelbau intact to the Americans. Then he handed over the Bergkristall intact to the Americans. And maybe what he wanted the Americans to have of Jonas Tal, but not all of it. It seems that there's a connection here of how they found what they found and how they didn't find what he didn't want to show them. I have a little other uh, information about mm -hmm. um, uh, there's a soldier who is uh, st stay on the border of Alpenfestung in uh, Abo. And then he goes to West to fight against the Americans on the West Wall. And he goes mm -hmm. in prison. And we have a prison, a big prison uh, of um, uh, army soldiers uh, at Rheinwiesen. And we hear that uh, the, the, the ISOS team uh, search for information at the prisoners in the uh, Rheinwiesen. And they mm -hmm. get the information that the atomic fabric is in Jonas Tal. And yes. that is what we hear. And so they give uh, Patton the information, don't go to Berlin, you go fast to Ordruf and search for that. And this is the time when you when you go uh, when you read uh, the um, hist histories uh, of um, of Patton, what he write, uh, then you see he goes straight, right straight. He, he is no yeah. thinking about what is right and left. He goes straight to Ordruf and this area and to found what he can. And so the question is, uh, he stay in the Jonas Tal and we have information about uh, the people who live there. They must close the windows, make it bleak. They don't can yeah. uh, stay out and they hear what is LKW. LKW comes out of, of the Jonas Tal. They don't know what they take. That's that's exactly right. And it's interesting when you look at Patton's armies, how they how they moved from the, at the end of the war. They went straight to Jonas Tal or Ordruf, and straight from Kamla's place. They went straight from that Kamla's place to Bergkristall, Kamla's place. They went straight from Kamla's place, Bergkristall, to Skodawerke as fast as they could. Literally, Patton's army was, was tracking all the, the key installations Kamla had. And there, therefore, I give yes. a, a special information about our archive. 
And that's the first time I will public that. I don't say the dates, but I have no in my brain. Uh, I have it only on paper. Uh, on <laughs> our achieve, will we stay? There will be two uh, um, dates where Kamla and Speer gives the American a German atomic bomb. That is the way we buy the bomb who comes to America and then to Hiroshima, perhaps. The problem is we, 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 we don't know why Speer and Kamla don't go dead in the Nuremberg process. We don't yeah. know why. And uh, perhaps it is a deal what they made with an American. You stay us for life and we give us two atomic bombs. Maybe. Yeah. We don't know it. But in our archive, we have the date and the place where it is work. Yes. I, I have lost connections from you. Uh, David in 1944 in October. And there was one, what, March 3rd in Jonas Tal that there were several. What are your thoughts on the atomic bomb tests towards the end of the war? Um, we have three places uh, in area. I made a video on my channel. Uh, the audience can see that. Um, we have one uh, atomic place in Poland uh, by the, the city Nisko. There is a place, you can see it by Google Earth. You can see the place right now, what is around. You see the around what, yeah. uh, where, where it's working. And then we have one explosion place uh, at the island uh, Bug uh, in North Germany. There is a place. Mm -hmm. And interesting is, uh, is a, a special friend, hello, Dirk, thank you for all. Uh, I, 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 I think he, he looks for. Uh, he gives us very interesting papers, what the Americans stolen in Russian archive. <laughs> that's that's oh. funny. Zero, zero, seven so that's seven. where that came from. Yeah. So they give us American information with photographics from the Jonas Talbe uh, Ordrov place uh, where is uh, going uh, atomic test. And uh, so uh, all say, oh, we must find radiation and then, and that is wrong. Uh, they blast 100 grams of uranium in, uh, for explosion and it hmm. goes up. And when you when you think about the uh, bomb of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, you must think about how many uh, material goes in explosion. That is a, is a yeah. funny question. Uh, you have 65 kilograms uranium in the bomb of uh, Hiroshima, but 2%, only 2% will be going to get the power. The rest is blowing up. You need the yeah. mass of 65 kilos to start the explosion. But after that, the explosion is so fast that 2% going in explosion, but the rest is blowing up. So, so if you, and that's why the, the, the Germans at the time was looking to make a smaller bomb, but more efficient from what I understand, yes. with, a low, with a lower radioactive fallout afterwards. They even thought about that. Yeah, but, but the problem is uh, the, uh, when you stay on the ground, you have a tower, you put 100 grams there, you have a very big electric uh, um, 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 atom, atom uh, um, um, oh, I don't know the word, I'm, I'm not an atomic uh, What's scientist. What's in German? Uh, um, uh, you, you need... Um, um, radiation, special radiation to start the uh, the atomic blast, and yes. so they make it with electric uh, power, and they blast the electrons to the uh, to to the material, and then it explosion. But you can't make a bomb. What you going with tr uh, with a tr uh, plane or with a rocket with so cable with you to have the energy? <laughs> that is the problem. <laughs> that is the tow rocket from hell. Yeah. Yeah, everything is uh, going on unplugged, uh, but <laughs> <laughs> America rocket with a tow with a tow cable. Yes, ninety thousand mile cable. Yeah, that's not going to work. Uh, you, you were in the navy, uh, I remember, right? In the German no, no, navy. Uh, not not, not navy, uh, army. My grandpa is army. in the navy. Good. 
can t I can tell you yes. where, 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 where I start the searching. My grandpa is the commander chief uh, of the bunker in uh, La Palice, where you see the film, the, the submarine U-boat from German. Um, that is uh, uh, the bunker you see in the film. And in this bunker, my grandpa was till 1944, the chief of this bunker. And after 1944, he goes back to the um, commanding chief uh, of Navy in Berlin. And we have the papers from that. They say, come back, you give, give, uh, we give you a special order. And when, when, when I was five years old, I sitting on his knees and he tell me I drive with trains in underground uh, areas to save the, uh, the, the, the technique of the uh, great battleships and submarines. He is one of them who drive in the, uh, in the uh, chambers, in the tunnels and bring material in it to save it before the bombings and so on. And that is what I show you sometimes, uh, what you make in your film uh, at uh, Zopten in uh, Zobotka. There yeah. he works. There he works. Sir. And that is the, the starting of my searching uh, in underground history. My, 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 my mother was crying. My mother was so angry. Uh, I can't, we play when we were 16. We play in our group and our children. In, I live here in, in, in Berlin, in West Berlin. And there were some ruins and so on. And we, we, we started to, 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 to fire hand grenades. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> but I must, tell, I must tell the truth. We lost too many uh, friends by uh, they are too bloody to, to work with us. I mean, it's called learning by doing. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And for you Americans, you don't understand how much fun it used to be to grow up in as a child in Europe, playing in all I the bunkers and blowing up stuff with fireworks and whatever you found. Yes, yes. Uh, anyway, uh, you can't get that from your game. I think it is nature choice. <laughs> Natural selection. <laughs> yes, nature selection. Right. <laughs> if you play basketball with a hand grenade, you're probably too no. stupid. So, yes. So, that I was must one of the things that... I must, I must say on this point, uh, so we have so much fun in West Berlin. We have so much free. We, we are lucky that we live there. And uh, th that is interesting. Um, we have, um, I, must, I can say it, uh, it is uh, <laughs> no problem by law. We, we, we have go to the uh, 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 drugstore and getting um, for the material for making uh, uh, the... Um, the explosion um, by uh, oh, oh fuck um, I lost I lost this, the name um, you you need two uh, poison uh, to to two uh, aces and put it together and then you put a certain one and then you have uh, the explosion by dynamite Nobel what is uh, uh, not dynamite oh, uh, Saul Peter and uh... no, before before it was dynamite. What is the, 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 the stuff before? Is, um, the nitrate? Nitroglycerin. Nitroglycerin. Yeah, that's a yes. So you need two poisons with one and one. And then but you, the problem is you must do it winter. It is so much heating and then it can be explosion. You don't do it at home. <laughs> so we make it in the wood outside. Then it's not, no person there. And you have two Two, two, po uh, two po uh, points what is going on, two choices. First, it is a very big crater there. You have an explosion there. Or you have nitroglycerin. And then you can <laughs> explosion some trees, what we do. <laughs> that is my child time uh, or when, when, when I was young, uh, older. I, I remember my great-grandmother when she was 90 years old. She had heart medicine. She got nitroglycerin. For hype minded medicine, she had to take a few drops. And she was always very careful with it. She was afraid to drop it or and this is medicine. Um yeah. Yeah. What, what what we did with it after she passed uh, may have involved black powder and other things just to dispose of it. But we, we don't <laughs> don't give you idea. It wasn't that bad to grow up during the Cold War. 
I mean, it, it was kind of interesting. It was an interesting time. Yes, for me, it is wonderful. And that, that is, I, I must say, about the first time when the wall is open. I don't know that. I drive in, at my car uh, for working in Berlin, and I, I stay in the middle of cars, and I don't know what is going on here. After the day, I, I, for, for uh, a, a street, what I need uh, to drive there for a half hour, I need six hours. I can't move. And so I come back and sleep and will make my uh, television on and see on the news, uh, oh, the, op uh, the wall is open. Uh, what? That is, yeah. We must check it. And interesting is then the second, no, it's the third day, I go to the wall where it's open, they, they broken it, and I have a look behind. <laughs> That is the first one. I, before I was going that uh, normally to uh, East Germany and have holidays there. But when the wall is broken, that is for us no that is that can't be that can't be. Yeah. That that that, um, that was the way it uh, it was for so many years. And it happened all of a sudden. I always say nothing happens suddenly. And and it, it was in the it, it was of course, instigated in some way, but it for everybody it happened very suddenly. And it was interesting because it happened so fast. Uh, the Stasi archives were largely preserved. But what happened to all the, the, the? The question is now: is always for everything we're looking for. It, are there documents anywhere that will? My, my last hope is that. It's almost impossible to get what we want from the American archives or the German archives. So I'm hoping maybe the Russian archives will have some of the things uh, from Bergkristall, Jonasthal, and uh, Quartz, and all these places. Hopefully, the Russians will one day share. Do you think it's possible to find anything? Uh, I think uh, it is more impossible uh, possible that the American open something. The problem is, uh, you know, we have a war in the East. The problem is, yes, I noticed. Russia, information from Russia is now, now, I think it's impossible now to get uh, information about. So the, the next problem is we have an internet site where the Russian put information uh, of German papers inside. But yes. who are the people who do that? You must have a question about that the yes. problem is i know that they are people working there read the paper and put the best information papers to the side what you see in internet is what you have to see they want to yeah. make a book or a film out of this paper what they, they didn't put in internet that is our problem we don't know if all going to internet and we see all of the paper or we see only what we can see why there is nothing more interesting inside the papers. That is my and they, we We only see what somebody wants us to see. Right. And then... And the same, and the same problem we have to, uh, by the Bundesarchiv. It's the same problem. Yeah? yeah. They don't tell you the right truth. They don't tell you. They don't no. tell you. Have, we have that uh, papers. We have that papers. You have a look. What you get, what you can see, is not what is very important for your work. The same yeah. problem we have in uh, Berg uh, Archive. Uh, so for, for, for information about uh, drilling and uh, what is in the past going with... Um, um, one moment. Uh, up, up with uh, mines. Oh, you lost, you, nope. lost, you know, you're, you're there. Okay. Uh, with mines, we, 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 we get no information what is going on with some mines on this place where we dig so. We get no. Yeah. They say us, they, they say us <laughs> together, uh, you get no information. We don't know what you want to do with this information. Yeah. So, stop. No information. And the problem is, you must go back to 1945. The German army and SS and so on, 
put all out of archives from the past what they can use and for themselves and yeah. what is uh, what is telling the the, the 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 future what is digging there this is all all the putting out and is no more information in archives by german uh, uh, government 1945 it is out yeah, yeah? that is cover that and is it, safe it, and if if you go back it's it's interesting it's a little bit like the, the trial of nuremberg which I always had a problem with. The biggest problem was that the defense lawyers were only allowed the papers, the prosecution, i.e. the Americans, Russians, British, French, wanted them to have. The defense was only allowed what they were given by the prosecution. So they would never allow a full picture to defend. Yeah. And it's the same thing today. We're only allowed to see what they want us to see, which is only the partial truth. Um, whatever, whatever suits them, even if we know that something's there, we request it. Uh, we, we're now looking at whatever. There's always leaks. There's little like the stories, and it's interesting. Like the American that wrote in 1947 his book in America about what the huge underground installation and the fewer help criteria he saw in Yulnastal. In 1947, in America, there was no publishers that was really uh, monitoring what American soldiers published. Uh, after that, sooner there was nothing else mentioned. In the Nuremberg trials, there's no mentions of, of uh, Jonas Tal or what off of nuclear uh, development. It was all under their Elsos paper. It's not enough. They don't have anything. Don't look there. Kamla was not even mentioned. And an interesting person as he was, uh, he had done enough interesting things that probably should have landed him an indictment at Nuremberg. The moment Speer started asking, talking about, oh, that was Kamla's demand. Follow-up questions about Kamala and what he was doing. He was just not mentioned, and the only way for that is because Donovan and Dulles had made it clear to Jackson and others some people and some things we don't talk about, and he was one of them. And the new clear was another. I I think you must start a little bit before. The problem is the Cold War, and the Cold War is starting after straight after the Second World War is ending. And when, yeah. the, uh, when, when Stalin uh, sit with Roosevelt together in Potsdam, they are not friends. So they, yeah. they, they, they put their areas, what they can, and they, they want to save it. And they know in this area what they can get. There are factories from the German, there are secrets from the German, and they want it for themselves and for their self-defense yeah. in the future. So when you see the uh, Nuremberger uh, tri trial starts at 20 November 1945. And I have papers here from the Germ Berlin government uh, starting at the first time uh, on April, 1st April in 1945, to rebuild the city. I have the papers from the uh, Bürgermeister from the, from the city. Bo Bo Sorry. Um, Bürgermeister in, in English. Um, uh, mayor. Mayor. From the mayor in, uh, in Berlin uh, of uh, Kreuzberg. And they say, uh, send very interesting stories. The, they, the Russian comes in the government of the uh, mayor and put the new telephones from the American outside. They stolen the telephones. They have no. And so the, that is the first beginning of Russians against uh, Americans. It is starting in Berlin. And the, the, yeah. prob the, the thinking is, till 1961, we have the wall. Before, the, the, the border is open. And so they, they work together, but they don't trust them. And... and right almost rightfully so um and then you had half of the scientists came to america and the other half and we talked about that yesterday then you had the second tier like america took the engineers the people who developed the plans but not the people who built the machines and the planes and the things they went to the russians and we talked about that plane yesterday that the russians rebuilt without the plans 
then then you must uh, you pick up the, uh, then you must open the picture number oh i lost uh picture number where is it uh, number eight please that one number eight yeah no 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 that's yeah. seven one, 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 that's seven one one more eight number that is eight oh there's one yes one 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 big yeah that's right so that is the g radar photographic from our plane what we found it is called ef 126 and uh, you can put the next one oops that's the half i see the half of the picture oh no, that's right so that is the same oh. uh, airplane but it is on the top of the airplane and it is uh, using with a, uh, um, um, a power of the V1. That is interesting. And you can make the next photo, number 10. I'm gonna have a... Well, we have time. So oh, that yes. is the only photo what we can get from this plane. That is V2, uh, V1, uh, um, Triebwerk, moment, moment, um, uh, heißt this? Uh, my school English is so old, and I stay one year in, uh, in, in Egypt as diving te teacher, but uh, it's too far away in time. This is the engine, the engine of the, the, the EF126 uh, is the tr uh, uh, engine of the, um, of the V2, V1. And uh, so we found this airplane under, in underground, be, uh, under the, um, the Jonas Tal uh, in the area of Tunnel 5 to 7. Wow. And in, interesting is uh, every uh, people ask, is there a tunnel underground or are the tunnels in uh, Jonas Tal only uh, this, uh, this 1 to 26? But we see under the Jonas Tal is more. An interesting story is that that plane is crashed by the German um, uh, engineers. They crashed the plane and they burned up all plans. So it is uh, uh, information from Wikipedia. And in Wikipedia stay more uh, that the Russian comes to Dessau where it is construct construction this plane and they say, build us a new one and they built five planes in russia and test the plane but uh, they are not uh, so lucky about the plane it is too not fast enough and so the planes are destroyed in russia that is our story what we have but interesting is we found one in underground position under the the, the jonas tile so it gives more and now you think about um, a place uh, where you want uh, Hitler to save before the enemies. We are on the uh, yeah. Alpenfest. Then you need yeah. uh, rockets, you need uh, bombing, you need uh, attack by jets and so on. And this is one of the planes we found. And we found on the uh, street of uh, the Autobahn A4, uh, uh, um, a way for the planes out of the tunnel system to the yes. autobahn and they can start uh, immediately this is wonderful i know i, I went uh, above ground uh, to look for it but obviously there's nothing to see above ground no uh, it, is, any it, is, it is covered there's a, a shooting range on this position and uh, we dig there with Girodal. We found the tunnel. We found all. But this, that is interesting. We have it. And uh, for the audience, I have a video on my channel. Uh, sorry, it's in Germany, but uh, maybe we make the translated. Um, but I am not so good uh, for internet uh, uh, features. Uh, I, I, I'm lucky that I can make a film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm 63 years old. For me, it's, it's funny to... to I can I can live that. That is for me funny. Yeah. I mean, it's it's just, and that's the isn't that the problem that they cover it up? They build. Will the will the, the government will not or the military certainly will not let us onto the property. I uh, I tried to be nice and asked. Um, 
I got a, a network over here on board to document what happened uh, just on the Truppe Übungsplatz. I wrote as a as a PAO uh, public affairs officer in my unit myself. I wrote uh, the public affairs officer in Ordorf and say I think it would be nice to come and see the Truppe Übungsplatz and document what is. Can I stop uh, you one moment? Yeah. Can I, can I stop you? Uh, I was um, supporting uh, in uh, the German army. I was in the German army in the reserve. And I, I was have contact to the top of uh, the army. Uh, uh, so uh, the second uh, uh, area <laughs> of the minister. <laughs> I yeah. have contact there. And I asked them. I write letters, and there's a very crazy uh, running what is uh, going on. Uh, I get to the person who is uh, the chief of the museums of Bundeswehr. And he say, no. And I talk to him one hour, showing the G radars, showing what we found. And after that, he say, okay, I'm interested. But when you ask me, I must, must say no. We must yeah. put it around. Go and ask the beamer. That is a, a, the, 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 um, the, the beamer is the, the, the honor of the property. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's an honor. And the problem is you must ask them. And then they ask me. And then I can say yes. But the problem okay. is we sent the, the letter and they ask other people. Yeah. And they say no. I talk to the woman and ask why I write it in the letter. Please talk to them. He say yes, we, we want to go there. We want to help us and we want to go give the information what we found to the to the to the government we have no problems and they say oh we want to know what is going on on the ground we want to know please help us yeah. but i can't say yes i can't say that is our problem they can't but i ask me who was the people who order you say no that is the question maybe uh, that is uh, oh. in german in german we say uh, i must translate it Uh, it is hastening obedience. You understand? Hastening yeah. uh, obedience. The, 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 problem, the problem is uh, they before they ask a higher people, they say, oh, yeah. I get problems. I say no, then I have no problems. Yes. That is it. No one ever got fired for saying no. Right. That is it. That is it. And, that, that, and that's what's interesting. I, I wrote the uh, public affairs in Ordrov. He seemed like a nice guy. And I introduced myself as, as the military reserve, PAO. I, I worked with this network. We would like to see what the rush build and what's there, so many stories. I think we should you know, document it and, and show people what's there to take away all the, all the suspicions. And he, he wrote immediately, actually, said, oh, that sounds like a really interesting idea. That sounds very... He was very positive. It's like, oh, that sounds very like, good idea. We, we should do that. Uh, I'm going on vacation in two weeks. Uh, for, for two weeks, when I get back, I, I will try to find out what uh, I, I will. I will ask my superiors and, and get something done. And I wrote him back right, right away again. And outstanding. I look forward to hearing from you. Uh, blah blah blah. It wasn't five minutes later. He wrote me back. I'm sorry. It's impossible. It can't be done. Thank you very much. And like. What happened in the last five minutes? Who did you talk to? Yeah, they give another story. I go for two hours. I go to the chief of the um, Thüringen uh, Historical Association, the chief of them. I talk to him in his bureau. And interesting is he tells me, uh, when you found something, you can ask us that we make an historian special place. Then... You can ask us for digging there. And we have so much rules that you don't want to open it. 
but it's so expensive. You must yes. have uh, 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 a special room before the entrance that you must save the air in the tunnel. You must have the uh, special uh, against weapons and munition. You must save yeah. it and you must have a special historian from us and you must pay for them and you must have this and you must have this and you have yeah and you don't want to make that you can't pay that that is only a trick by they don't want to open the history yes only. It, so and i see and i i i remember hearing i i always make fun when i go not just in Jonasthal, but everywhere. If I'm in Austria, if I'm in Poland, if I'm in Germany, every time I go to an area that has special projects going on or used to have, I will see the little owl that says natural preserve. Everywhere we want to look to natural preserve, and that means you cannot look here. You can't dig here. And when they leave Ordruff, one day the military will go away. All you, of it will become a natural did you, preserve. Did you remember about the place where you come from Gossel to Jonasthal? There's a, space, a, a small a place for parking there. And interesting yeah. is, you see a small 10 meters thick and 100 meters long uh, area which is going with, they're growing to, uh, trees. And yeah. in front is a is a science. <laughs> Behind is a science. That is a special area for nature. <laughs> but we know there are the tunnel inside. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And, and, and that's and that's the problem. And, and it's very it's a problem they have everywhere, because when all governments make it impossible to dig, to look, to research, and you're an archaeologist. So you should have the, at least have the permission. I have the same problem in Austria. I'm having a large argument with the BIG in Austria because I want them to simply show me all your photos from the Bergkristall that you destroyed. Show me, you surveyed everything. It's very simple. You destroyed it. It no longer exists. Show me the I photos. Have, I have the first original Gutachten a few uh, what they write uh, from the government about Bergkristall. And then ah. they write at the first site, uh, I translate it. They, they write it what you eat and what you uh, uh, get money from him, you have to talk and to tell what I want. That is on the first letter it stay. Yeah? Exactly. And so yeah, it's, uh, and wonderful it is. They they made a photo with five tunnels from uh, from the top to down, five tunnels, and in the yes, in the yes. in Gutachten is staying it is only two tunnels system, two two tunnels I, uh, over. Yeah. And, and exactly and how and the, the, how they say why we think they think we are bloody. I don't think they care. I don't think they care what we think or what we know they only care about the bigger picture first of all they have power they have a bureaucracy they have jobs that is important their truth is important what we find is not important to them because it hasn't been told the problem from a historical point of view just like with Bergkristall of course they didn't want to show the photos of what they destroyed we're having more meetings but if you make it impossible for researchers or historians to dig and look and excavate for our own money, then what's going to happen is, one, you're going to have history get lost, or you're going to have people do things illegally. They're going to find things they don't want to share because they know they broke the law to find them. So now the government won't know, they can't publish it, and more gets lost. I think the story is a little bit other. The problem oh. is uh, they search by georadar. I, I see the films uh, by uh, they found an underground concentration camp. And information is, is information is, and that is the problem with our archives. It's the same. We I say we have one million five hundred slave workers down in the factories, and mm, I think when they trained the slave workers in Bergkristall 
to run in the tunnel system when they hear the Syrians from, from the air attack, then they crash down the tunnels mm -hmm. and have put in the slave workers and kill them. And I think the problem for the government is yes. oh, don't, they don't want to open the tunnels. Uh, did you, see, you must think about uh, what is going on with the press. St uh, think about it. They open a tunnel and find 15,000 bodies, skeletons in white and blue trousers, clothes. And the problem yeah. is the press makes for the Germans, oh, they are the 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 um they they are the the, the I, I don't know the hate the, the hate is war, a word of that yeah but that is that is for, for the craziest thing for the germans to say oh yeah. we are the the the, the, the killing the so much people and that is our past and uh, and and then they must put it in a uh, really good graves they have to put it yeah. out and That's that is true. too much uh, it costs too much money then the government yeah. say oh there is nothing and we found something let this the, the history closed and i think that is yeah. the most problem of all they don't want to crash the german history and the the the, the sinking of the people of the world against the germany yeah. knew that are that so bad and it's very interesting the way political presentation and propaganda works is that it is always the minister who finds the problem who gets blamed for it he has to take responsibility it doesn't matter if that minister today when we uncover a mass grave he didn't do it but he is the one that has to stand up and apologize for it yeah, which is of course the propaganda didn't stop at the end of the war. The propaganda no. will be yeah. running till now. The problem is yeah. only the schemes are changing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I, I always thought that the Russians would want to uh, show all the pictures and things from Jonasthal and Ordov and, and, and from, from Bergkristall now because it would embarrass the, the Americans. I figure, well, let it out now. You started before the war to publish all this information um in a public affairs war we must we must think about what is changing in our now life in my our, our life today what is changing when we open the tunnel and when we say oh the, what is here and what is there nothing it changed yeah. nothing it is yeah. only history and yeah. we, we can wait we can wait uh, two thousand years or one thousand years and then we open it and it is oh the germans built something more then it will be crazy now we can open it and we can uh, open it for only history nothing more but yeah. the problem is we have yeah. we have a special by neo-nazis that is a problem they have very scary about what they say oh it's our history and it's our technical we will we will win the war but but problems so and i think uh, that is the same uh, and another problem by uh, the government they don't want to open it and it, it's very simple when people they ask why haven't we heard why will they not release the papers it's a very simple uh there's the embarrassment there's the money but when it comes to special technologies and nuclear research for the germans special rockets uh, they don't want to because well first of all some of it is maybe have been secret still uh you have papers from world war one that is still classified so if it comes out, they will never let it out that, especially in Austria, if it turns out there's a small nuclear reactor at the end of Bergkristall, that would make right. the Austrians have to say, oh my God, we had nuclear here uh, during the war and they don't want it today. There's all these problems for them they think is going to come, but it's really not. Um, I, will sh I will show you uh, uh, one card I showed you yesterday. I make it here in my camera. Um, you see that here. Uh, I hope it can be worked by the camera. Uh, that is a special place in Germany. Mm -hmm. And uh, all red points are, uh, and, uh, are, are, are sorry, are factories in underground. And the yellow one was, will be the entrance and the blue one will be some treasure. And uh, what we found about this, uh, every point in the cards will be maximum 30 meters right and left. 
And interesting is, uh, in the paper stay, that they use all electric power by water, by, uh, oxy by, by hydrogen. That is yeah. very funny. Uh, we say, oh, we must pay, make a new uh, power and uh, save the nature and so on. But I yeah. think uh, the, um, the technical of 1945 was very better than our now. And uh, what we see uh, in our uh, archive, they tell uh, that um, the archive 30 megawatt will be prepared by gas, by, by, by uh, water gas. And, wow, yeah. Uh, yes, but we, we must think about the first step, how they made so much gas. That is the question. In underground, you have tunnels where wa water is going there. There is no problem. Water in underground stations you have everywhere. But the problem is how you change the water to gas, to, to water gas. And so we are, must uh, ask us why we do, don't use this technical. And now we tell all uh, about we must uh, do it by electric with uh, um, uh, electric in water. And so we have one for uh, uh, oxygen and one for uh, water gas. And so the, the question is, they do it other and more. And we do, don't know wh uh, who they made it. By, uh, the, the problem is so much patents will be going out of Germany 1945. That's the problem yes. that, that, that uh, we, we, we say we have some motors was running with uh, water and so on. And the, uh, the um, patents are safe, put it in your box and close it forever that you can yep. pay a month, earn money with oil. That is our, it is our thinking about to make money. Yes. But the problem is the technical is real in the world. We don't know that. It's very interesting that you mentioned that because already before the war, uh, Heinrich Himmler was very much aware that energy uh, and fuels was going to be an issue because Germany didn't have much. So Himmler started looking into the synthetic fuel production and alternative energies. And it was said, I know uh, Joseph P. Farrell, he, was, he said his research showed that Kamla was tasked with finding zero point energy, basically energy out of nothing, like the Kamla battery that will last forever almost. Now, if the Germans at the time of the war had come close to finding a way of creating energy out of very little or almost nothing, that would, for many, many years, have to be suppressed, even today, because we still sort of live in the petrol dollar, while it's going to continue or not. But also all these silly electrical uh, cars and solar panels and all this nonsense, it doesn't do enough. It's not efficient enough. And like I said, you've heard of the Kamla battery. It's just a little battery. Uh, this is, uh, the little, little problem is uh, this, this is a story. The Kamla battery is a story. Uh, no, I thought they found no, it. Nobody, you have one? <laughs> I saw a picture. I have pictures of one. Yes, I have the same. The problem is, did you touch one? Then it is real. No. That is True. A problem for, that is a problem for us. That's the same by my G-Radar pictures. I know that. Touch one and make a photo, then it is real. But the problem is, um, that is give uh, a special information about um, what is, oh, I, I, I search for it. Uh, we, I, we talk uh, after that, it makes on, uh, I, I must look for something. Uh, but, but it's, you're absolutely right. And I think there's a lot of the technologies that were conceptualized, they were planned, but they were not built yet. And I think a lot of those plans were some of the things that the Americans pulled out or they disappeared. And of course, that would be a very real economic issue today, even if all of a sudden somebody came out and, and said, well, we have something that will produce energy out of very little. It was not a friend of mine who used to work for Ford, just as an example of how they cover up um, uh, technologies. In 1960, he worked for Ford and they had built an engine that would run 
for 50 miles a gallon of gas in 1950s, late 50s. And they put it on the shelf, they hid it away, and the Ford 150 today still only gets 11, 12 miles to the gallon. There is a correlation between technology and energy and fuel that is that could very well also be a part of this. Because if, the, if they had all the big underground factories in Jonas Tal, they would need power, electricity, to power all these factories. So an alternative fuel source would be something worth hiding. And thank you very much, Jerry. Did you find it? Yeah, I find it. Uh, did you know Occam's uh, rule? Did you hear something about Occam's rule? Yes, sir. Uh, that yes. is interesting. Uh, I have uh, f found it in a, in a uh, series in, 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 in cinema. Um, Occam's rule is very interesting. You can uh, uh, read it by um, um, by Google, uh, Wikipedia. That is interesting. From it comes from 19. One moment, uh, computer. Ah, internet in Germany is a crazy thing. Ah. It's so, not much better in Los uh, Angeles, honestly. <laughs> I didn't think so. So it comes from. <laughs> 3047. It is 700 years old. And this this rule means when you have more, when you when, when you search and research and when you science something, and when you have more than one uh, declare and uh, Erklärung, uh, one moment, Erklärung. Declaration. Er, er, ergebnis. Or, uh, ergebnis. Uh, result. Story. You have more when Result. more story one of more result then the smallest one is the best that is occam's That's right. rule it is 700 years old and it's the main way uh, you you don't must talk about uh, why they come with jirada why they make it how they make it take what it's what you see and uh, find the best way to to uh, understand what you see that is the problem. And uh, so it's the same with the technical. We only think yeah. so high in engineering. Water is only 100 degrees. Uh, uh, it is, uh, life is easier than we all make it. That's true. But it, it's it's funny now going to method horse. This is, you wanna, you wanna, the, the tunnels under, under Germany is a little bit like uh, Schrodinger's cat. Either it's there or it's not there. If it's there, if you believe it's there, it's there. If you don't believe it's not there, it's not there. <laughs> but yeah. it's it, and there are. I mean, it's also like last time I was there, I, I saw, I've seen tunnels that were. Do you, do you remember the the old forester uh, that dug the vertical tunnel outside of uh, on the other side of the road that goes straight down and then it turns where he found steel beton outside of the proving ground. Uh, it's this will be done it so you don't fall down. I have to follow you now. The problem is uh, your sound is uh, breaking sometimes. We have uh, a lot like of con contact problems with the sound. Yeah, it's this horrible internet thing. Is it getting better? Uh, there are some miles between us. Really? <laughs> Do I have a? Does anybody else hear an echo or have sound issues? And we'll leave it out to the crowd. I think uh, in the last time it, it works, but so we stay and uh, wait for for better contact. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes. Let me see. I have. Now, I am now connected. I am turned up. Okay. Sometimes now the Wi-Fi goes up and down a little bit. We have very yeah. old infrastructure here. Uh, um, your, your people. Is your people are waking up now and they have a look in the inter -side, uh, internet and now it is uh, fill, fill up and by me is the same they want to sleep and go in the internet and have a few and so uh, it was some problems <laughs> there is no sleep for people who want to know history damn it <laughs> you can sleep tomorrow um okay but it's, uh, it's... would you would you make uh, um, more on the on our photos uh, I think we should show the video of the tunnel what, you what found. I, what I, should, what I, I sent you? Yeah. Okay, you can because open it, it. I think, or well, maybe I can.
can open it. Uh, <laughs> well, we haven't talked about that. All right, we're just gonna go. What, what do we got here? Uh, yes, that is a picture. Um, that is a picture from a tunnel here? system. That is a picture from a tunnel system. Uh, what we search uh, in uh, in Brandenburg in Germany, and uh, there is a, a second uh, another um, system. And uh, what we hear is some information that Kamla goes to the uh, tunnel system. We have more bunkers there. And when you make open mm -hmm. the next uh, picture, the next picture, please. Then we have uh, searching with GeoRadar this one. And uh, we are on the top of the bunker. The, the yellow or orange, uh, uh, what you see uh, on top is uh, the wall about the bunker. And the points uh, down are the stems uh, inside the bunker. Um, uh, for for making uh, a safety the, the the one moment I must translate uh, the, the 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 siling siling the siling of the bunker uh, for uh, yeah. bombing attacks. So um, what we what we hear is a, is a wonderful theme that on the left side of the picture is an entrance for cars. There comes an uh, old woman and say, oh, we have an entrance. Uh, we, we drive uh, uh, in the war in the bunker system with cars. And I say, what? And so we search for that and we found this bunker here. And uh, we, w we want to go inside. And can you uh, make one picture back, please? So, and this was uh, one of the entrance uh, for the people to this bunker we found. Uh, I can't uh, say where it is, uh, but um, yeah. interesting is we have the uh, the permission to to search there from the government. That is, we have, but the problem is uh, the owner of the uh, of the um, property uh, has some problems with us. He don't want to pay for the digging. And in Germany, the the owner of the of the property must pay the digging of history. That is a problem. And uh, so uh, we must uh, search uh, that what we found and what we search uh, um, uh, very seriously. Uh, but we have found the bunker and the system. We are on, on, on working there. It all turns into money always, doesn't it? It's, yeah, it's all a question about money. Life is a question of money. That's very true. All right. So uh, if you want, about. if you want, you this can, is amazing. Yeah, if you want, you can open the picture number seven. That is one. Yeah, uh, one, one, one big, one big. No, no that's right. So uh, that is my last video, what I put in my channel. Uh, that is a tunnel entrance from inside. The G-Radar can we move in 3D. So we can move behind and have a few in the tunnel. That is maybe, perhaps, we must say it so, by, we are not staying inside, and we think that is a big one to right and left, and perhaps mm -hmm. it will be the entrance for cars and for transport uh, uh, cars. So we mm -hmm. think by uh, this photo is not completely, uh, I must uh, make only one photo for you. Uh, there's a, su a second tunnel on the left side for people going into the factory. And that is what we can make with GRADAR. That is uh, for us. A wonderful thing to have a look where is something it is not the truth what is there it is only a, a, an a information a small information what can be there that's that's why i wanted to show the video you made because it shows people a little bit about how it works and how you did it um and how how you actually do this and I yeah. thought that'd be it's just a couple of minutes where you go over one of the things you found. And this is from Jonas style, right? That is from Jonas. The style, video. That's right. Yeah, yeah it's from, from the video. That. I have the last three videos what I uh, put in uh, is from Jonas oh, style. Oh, ladies and, and gentlemen, this is Crystal Focken calling from Berlin in Germany. We uh, have a special video for you in Tino Struckmann's. Um, 
video channel <laughs> Lost Battlefields. And I will show you a specially georadar opening for searching by tunnels and tunnel systems, rocket and so on. I will show you how it works. And the first, what I will show you is here the specially 3D, what we can show in three axes. Before I will start, I must apologize me. Um, my school English is not so good. I have to work in Egypt as diving teacher. That is wonderful time and I learn money much, much more. But I it is too far away in the time. And, uh, and so I must have a well, problem you know, in English. I hope you can your, help me and your, enjoy. Your German is still feel better than mine, Deutsch. We have three axes and we have two or more uh, parts to show our tunnel and to find and search. The first, what I will show you, is the contours of a tunnel. The first axis will be show us the tunnel in this direction. Here you see it. I will show you and open it. So, and you see here it comes from behind in the front. And when you see the two blue holes, holes inside, that here is the first tunnel and that is the second tunnel. When you open a hill, it will be better you have two tunnels. When one is broken, you can go out by the other. And the second, what we search, is a two-second axis. I will open it. And now you see, wow, here are two tunnels. You see it in the contours of the one tunnel. And here it moves at the second tunnel. But our view is going with georadar. Sometimes problem with the material around the tunnel, the stone, the rocket. That has crashed the, 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 one moment, I must change it uh, in my computer for the right word. I have the it same problem. The shine. <laughs> The shine of the georadar will be uh, uh, going not deep enough for the tunnel system on much, much moment. And so we have this tunnel not so good like the left one. So here is the next area. And I show it to you this way. This is for us to see how high and deep is the tunnel in the position. Here is the first tunnel. Left is the right tunnel, and here comes the left tunnel on the picture. And you see the blue one, the, the dark blue, is only free space. So it works here. I will show it to you, and this, this is the first way to search, to, to, to scan and to search for tunnels. Not search, search. So, the interesting is we have one time more and that is very, very, exp um, very, very exciting, very, very fantastic, I must say. And I will show it you right now. We go and open slowly that you can see sometimes what is coming here. You see in the front the rest of the wall. I showed you on the left side. Then you see we are standing here what my mouse is. And you can see in this direction in the hill. You see there is the hill. It's not going deep. It goes right to the... Uh, one moment, I need the right word now. Horizontal. It goes horizontal. So, and now I go deeper and deeper and you see what I mean. Here comes two tunnels. We see it from the top. That is more exciting. 
here you see left the right tunnel on the right side. Yeah, it's not so good in the shine, but the left tunnel is fantastic coming. And especially what we can make, we can see the tunnel from inside. I must turn 180 degrees back, put it in the middle a little bit more, so. And now we can have a look inside the tunnel. That we are now using on 2003. On the top of the tunnel, you see the holes where the lamps inside. To walk inside, that is maybe the entrance for the workers to go to with their work. And what we have in our, our archiv is that is the entrance for an atomic fabric for making some atomic weapons. You hear right. We found some bombs using and working and viewing the same so like little boy what is found uh, uh, in Hiroshima. So uh, the, uh, the audience can see how we work uh, with uh, with Geo radar. I think it's a, it's a good uh, information, and uh, for yeah. us it's very funny to have a few insight before we are thinking about digging and so on. We can have a look inside, is there something inside, how open the tunnel is, how much material is in front before we can go in the tunnel, we much dig out and so on. It is fantastic. Yeah, it, it really is. And we will be digging. <laughs> we just need a few volunteers who have good backs and can shut up. Yeah. So the problem is uh, we, 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 have, we stay with one fo uh, feet uh, in the jail. That is a problem. And uh, I, I don't want to make something against the law. That is a problem for us. But uh, sometimes yes. you, you think about we must go against this uh, uh, secrets, what they do. Uh, we must search and rescue and save this information. And that is a problem. And, and a question I get a lot on that is, do I believe there's an active cover-up of this? Or is it because now we are several generations of bureaucrats further, it is just more simple and safer to just say no? Do you think it's because they're playing it safe, they don't want to get involved, or do you think someone is actively covering this up now, still today? The, the, the problem is everything what we do when we open something is to kick the government in the ass. That is our problem. Everything what we do is they thinking about they, we, we kick them in the ass. That is a problem. Uh, I don't want to go against them. I don't want, no. I want to work with them. I, I don't, I want to stay with them and to say, okay, we open this secret. But the problem is they made so much uh, law against us that we can't uh, um, uh, picking up and searching for the rights of the work slavers. That is, that yes. is a problem. We must, we must open their graves. Yes. That, that's and I see that, and then you not only that you have to have specific experts like in Austria you can't go dig unless you have somebody with a PhD who is an archaeologist who went to the government-sponsored universities or work for the organizations that generally say no, which makes yes. it even harder. But uh, there is one organization in the world we must ask when we want to make pressure against the uh, 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 the, um, the government and that is uh, in, israel. in israel that is in oh. israel yes oh yes but yes uh, I, is, I know where you're going 
I have a lost of my camera. No, here's. Yes, oh, that, okay. that, is only, that is only what we can make when we want to make pressure. Uh, we yeah. can go to Yad Vashem and we can ask them if they ask, help us to open and to save the graves. That is only yeah. the problem. But, but there is a second problem for us. We must... Uh, the, moment, I have the... the reason. We must... Uh, Proof. Throw. We must prove that. That is our problem. Uh, th the same what I tell before by the gold trade. It's the same. It, that, yes. that comes every time behind us. But when we have one tunnel open and one tunnel is correctly like the same in Giorda, then the gold train is proof behind. <laughs> yeah. Then we can, in the past, we can prove the, the gold train. But we, we must yeah. make one. One we must have. That is a problem. I make a, a video yeah. from me. I stay in the tunnel completely out of iron. I show in the tunnel what is here, what is there. And then I go in the top, make a video with Girada. And they say, no, we don't accept this truth. I, I, I have no chance. I have no chance. No. And that, and that, yeah, wh wh where do you go from there? Um, it, it, it really, it's, it's interesting that there is such an adversity towards this history that nobody wants to know because it really wouldn't affect most people today anyway. It is just history. Um, yeah, but it's crazy. Yeah, it's they're, crazy. they're not being certainly... Connection yeah, lost. it is. And it's it's uh, it's it's very it's very sad. Yeah, that that is that right. is so our one thing I wanted to ask you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, um, we did we never talked about this, but I'm curious about uh, about your thoughts because you this is one this is from what I understand your specialty about the nuclear factory out in Poland. Uh, not not the not the uh, Riese area, but. A little bit east of that i know uh i think we, we talked about it after i did an episode from the brewery out there yes. you know something more about that that place anything you can share about that because we have you're the expert we, we have all cards and we found every place in the cards right in the uh, digital model from the ground it's everything every every parts uh there uh 30 meters from the cross in the cart, there is the point in the ground. That is, wow. we found it. We have all, and uh, you, you you know the entrance of uh, uh, of Zopten. You see it, in, you make it in your video, uh, and uh, that is real. That is that is the main entrance of the train. They drive underground, and you they go in underground in the factories with trains. And they have a, a railway station there. And they have uh, more and more. We, we don't think how much and how big it is. We don't think so. How, what's the story behind that underground factory? Uh, when did that start and what, what was it? Can you, can you repeat? Uh, what was the story, the history behind that, that underground factory? Well, what, what was in there? The history is the same what we have in Thüringen. Uh, they are rockets, underground uh, factories for nuclear. They made uh, uranium for uh, atomic um, power plants and so on. We yeah. think so. And uh, that is that is the question. We can't um, prove that when we don't go in. That is the same one. The yeah. cards say everything right. But the question yes. is... When the cards are right, why the information is not right? That is that is not uh, uh, understanding. The cards are True. right, the information must be right, like the same. And the problem in Poland is the same as it is in Germany and Austria. They won't let you look, I'm guessing. This is also a query that's not making it easier. Uh, sorry, I have a problem with understanding your English. <laughs> oh, um, uh, the Polish, they will not let you look or dig either. Yeah, 
That is the same problem with uh, Gold Train. The problem is um, on 2015, they cl uh, closed by law in Poland every digging and searching with metal de detectors, with georadar, everything. You, you, you don't go in the wood and uh, or searching everything. When the police came, they have the rights to, to take your car. That is a question. When they uh, get when they can catch you uh, in the uh, in the wood and you are searching with metal detector, they can take your car. That is only by law. And the problem is after that time they have the same problem uh, with um, uh, they they don't want to have German people in the working of Poland history. Yes. <laughs> yeah. They want only Polish people for that. And Why? Was there some problems? No. Uh, that is the same problem what we have in Germany. Um, they, they all, all want, they, around Germany, they have their own interesting on their country. I am yeah. a German. I am a Polish. I am a France. I am an English. In German, we can't say German. That is a problem with Hitler. So I'm but, but around us, they want to say I am a Poland and I am in Poland. I am great. And so yeah. I'd say no Germans work together. I have the problem. I stay in Poland 2007. The Polish government uh, uh, at the uh, Ostwall, the city, makes me as a uh, honored uh, uh, um, um, citizen. No, citizen. Not, not citizen. Um, uh, uh, Botschafter, um, uh, moment. Yes, uh, said, uh, uh, oh, yeah. Um, I don't uh, know the English word. As, uh, Ambassador. The, 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 Ambassador. The, the, city, the city of the East Wall makes me 2007 as only one people in Germany as private historian ambassador of honor. So that is, that is fantastic for me. But the problem yeah. is now... They come to me and I want to talk with them and they say, oh, we can go and drink every pee every beer. That's no problem. But no political talking, no historical talking. I can't. I, lo I lost my job. No history that talking? No, that is that's okay. They can't talk with me uh, so official in his job. Private, he goes with me drinking beer. That's no problem. But he don't want to talk with me everything what is going on his job. That is Poland now. Holy shit! How did the, how did how did somebody in Poland go to the government and say we want a law that nobody can look or we take their car? How how how? Why did somebody do that? So I think you have a better sh chance uh, like us. I am from Germany. You are come from America. America is a partner of Poland. German is a hit uh, of, of. We have some make some problems in 1939 in Poland. All right, you just uh, you just pretend to be Danish, and uh, I'll do the American uh, front talking. No problem. It. Yeah. But, but but that is the problem. When you come as American and ask for a license to, to dig there, to search there, uh, it is a better chance for you as, as me, as German. It's just, to me, when you say, but even I can't go with GPS or a metal detector because they passed that law in 2015. And I keep asking, why would you pass a law making it illegal to look even without disturbing the ground, unless you have something to hide. I lost. Okay. Did you lose sound? Can you tell again? Tell, can you tell again? Yeah. Um, why would, would the Polish pass a law making it illegal for anybody to use a GPR or a metal uh, detector? That's the same like in that's the same like in Germany. They don't want to show what they have in ground. Too so much, they're hiding uh, something. Too much, too much treasure are in Poland from the German government digging, uh, uh, covered there. And uh, so uh, the, the Polish uh, is not so, 
uh, heavy with money, uh, and so they have the problem to search more for digging and yeah. for searching for for get money. And perhaps they found a treasure, and that don't want the Polish government. It, it, that that's what I'm thinking. If there's a law making it illegal to look, that is because they know there's something to find. If you are an honest government, if we could find one, and we have nothing to hide, you can look at everything, no problem. If we have nothing to hide, look at the archives, no problem. The only reason I can think of that they hide or refuse us to see underground or in the papers is because they know there's something to find. Yeah, but the problem Which is... Not is making... uh... The problem is the same by every person about the honesty. Yeah. When you found something and you can go to your government and say, oh, I have found something. And they say, oh, we give you 10% from the uh, from what you found and then it's okay. That then it will be go better. You see it is in yeah. Bavaria yes. and Germany the same. There you can go and you found 50% of what you found in the ground. The rest is for the honor of the property. The yes. pro problem is so much treasure what is found in other countries in, in Germany, they go, bring it, it to uh, Bavaria to say we found it there. And uh, they have no problem with, uh, with law. That is a problem. Yeah. And that, that's what I'm thinking. If you make it impossible for people to look, people are still going to look. They're just not going to say anything. And then they're going to steal what they find because they're afraid to tell or they hide it and history gets lost. So just for example, if I went to Poland and I find a German World War II dog tag, a, a, a shield of, of somebody who died, I take it home as a souvenir. But somewhere in Germany, this man's great-grandchildren are looking for his grave but i don't say anything because i'm not allowed to find it you always have to document what you find and and tell i guess we have to go to the un or the eu and petition for the laws to be changed yes uh, there is a second uh, law in poland uh, that is means that every parts of uh, what you what you have in poland till after the end of the war, the 8th May of 1945. Everything what is mm -hmm. built and found after this time that can't go out of Poland. That is a law. Of course. Yeah. So, and uh, therefore, uh, everything is closed. You can't uh, take anything out uh, of history parts. That is, I think it's good for, for the history. But uh, the problem is uh, so much things what you find is no interest <laughs> what you have. There's no interest. You find and if you find something, it's not registered, and then it just disappears because people don't want to give it up. Yes, that's right. That's right. Which is, we, we have to be realistic. I bet people yes. find things, and if they find out, oh, I can't keep it, or it's illegal, I'm just not going to say anything. Yeah, and that's not first, good. That's bad the mystery. First, the first step is to make it uh, in money, to change it in money. Yeah. I, one problem with archaeology in Denmark, my grandmother was an archaeologist in Denmark. The problem is if you build a house and you start digging for the foundation, and ooh, all of a sudden, here's a Viking uh, head or skull or skeleton or anything old. Now you stop digging. Then you yeah. have to wait for the National Museum to come in and st excavate the whole area. That could take yeah. a year or two. You don't get paid, you don't get compensated, and your house is not getting built. You may lose the money. Yes. So and people, they German, find things. And in Germany, people, must, then they, and you, in Germany you must pay the completely historian uh, work. Yeah. In Germany, you must pay for it. Oh, yo, yo, yo. And reality happens is if I build a house and I see a Viking horn and I have millions of kroner or dollars on the line, I'm not going to tell anybody. I'm going to hide yeah. it and build my house because I can't yeah. afford not to. Yeah. So and that is a problem. 
That's the same by our work. Yeah. By this law, they destroyed the same uh, their their own uh, um, founding founding. What they have. everyone is not tell them the truth. Then you build a house and you don't want to see what they've uh, built here. Crash it down, put it down, and then make your house on, and nobody knows what is there. Yeah, that is, exactly. That is, that is the problem of this law, and um, yeah, it's not not enough to talk about more. Uh, I think so. Uh, we can't change it. Well, the only thing I can think of is actually make a law proposal for the EU or the UN of the research, the open, honest research and protection uh, of history. That could yeah. well, it can't get any worse. So we would have to go bigger. Good idea, but the problem is you must dig there first before you see mm. if is it real interesting found. That is a problem. You can't say before what you, what you found, what you want to found. You must have found. You must have 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 it to identify in identification, and then you can say okay. We found a treasure or some old what is going in history. That is a problem. Before you dig, you can't say that. I have, I have. Okay, I'm, I'm. It's this is one of the things I wanted to do for the longest time, to uh, propose a general law for hobby historians to have rights as well. Uh, um, I actually talked to a few international lawyers about how to propose this to the UN or the EU. Uh, I don't really like either of the organizations, but we have to work with the cards we have. That's something we can talk about more, how to at least have the presentation uh, and see what they say, generalized. Uh, the worst thing that can happen is they say no, and they say no anyway, so what the I think hell? They have, they have more interesting and uh, important things to do as to think about what we have problems. <laughs> but we could stop them from being more important ideas of dis destroying Western civilization for a little while and go ahead and talk about history instead. Maybe we can slow them down. <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> they're, they're not doing anything good anyway. We can't change the history, we can't change the day, and we can't change the future. We hope we can our work our make our work, and we can't uh, hope to uh, uh, find uh, found what we what we search for. But everything what is in the future is is only yeah it's maybe and hope. Yeah. Well, at least we can try. Yeah. And uh, with without right. uh, try, without try you have no hope. <laughs> That's true. Hope is all we have left. We're going to keep trying. Um, right. uh, I have contact lost. Here, I hear now you froze up. Ah, yes. Here, here, now we are there. We're, we're back. <laughs> yes, you are yeah. back. I said, uh, I guess I will see you in a couple of months. You're welcome. <laughs> Are we losing uh, internet again? Yeah, I think we have a problem now. Okay. Well, I guess that's a good time to a good time to stop. We we did a couple of hours. Um, if you have, if I will you have see you in a couple of months. If you have, if huh? you have some question from, uh, sorry. That might be a good idea because I've seen a lot of questions while we've been talking. This will yeah, be we, a good time for you to ask your questions now yes, that you have us all here. Um, uh, so, yes, now all of you who asked questions for the last two hours, please write them again. Or, Machine, did you pick up on any questions that uh, you remember? So now you've got to stop talking to each other. Now you're going to. Did you, did you, oh. did you tell the, the question uh, what you uh, want to ask? I think I think you must you must ask the question and I will answer. Well, I was um, I was waiting to see if there's anybody in the chat that had any live questions for us. Yes, um, uh, I see I see the questions, but I I have no overview 
to see what is going very interesting. I'll highlight one if uh, if, if I see one coming up. Uh, uh, well, okay. I don't think anywhere you went. Any radiation? Did you find any radiation anywhere? Uh, yes. Yes. We have a tunnel system uh, in our uh, archive, uh, and we go there with my uh, radiation uh, part, and uh, we walk there, and <laughs> sometimes wee, wee, goes up, and uh, I say, oh, we are right here, but uh, we can only see the entrance of the tunnel in the ground, but we can't go in. This is the same problem what we have ever, but when the radiation is going high, so maybe it is, a, it is a possible when they stay here, our radiation uh, center, and they, they made something with uranium, and you go there, and your uh, radiation uh, part goes up. That, that must be the same. <laughs> <laughs> OK, this is an honest question. So I guess what's the coolest thing you ever found? The coolest thing would ever found? Oh yes, that's a, that's a hard question. That is a hard <laughs> question. Uh, the I coolest know. thing what ever, what I found is a kitten cot. Uh, we, we 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 it is lying in the in the sea right now. Uh, we go diving there and uh, we found a kitten cot and uh, after. The, the problem is it was too much uh, uh, schlamm, uh, dump, yeah. no, no, schlamm, schlamm. and see, see, uh, I, yeah. I, I must touch it. I must touch it. I can't see anything. I touch it. <laughs> I feel the chain. I feel the, 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 uh, the, the, um, the wheel, the wheel to, uh, in front. And I say, oh, that must be something hard metal. And after that, I go to the museum and make my close my eyes and touch it again and i say oh yes it's a cotton cut <laughs> <laughs> well it was uh, poland of germany a lake yeah, it's germany by berlin and the, the interesting is uh, after that uh, what i will make my videos in internet uh, more and more people comes to me and uh, telephone me and say oh we have here something and here's something uh, by the old Leipzig, we have three tanks in the ground. Yeah, they say, oh, there was a hole, and the uh, American people, sh uh, the American soldier, sh uh, pushed the uh, uh, tanks in the ground. Uh, they have so much problem. Childs are playing on the on the tanks, and so they put it in, but they don't close it. So the, the children play on the uh, uh, tanks the same, and so they say, okay, we close it with sand. And they put sand over it, and so nobody knows there are tanks underground. And after the war, in the time, they put more and more in, and it is closed now. We have the tanks, three tanks. We don't know which type it is, but interesting is we have three tanks. And nobody is interesting to get it out in a museum or something else. We have three tanks I am. There. Yeah. And I am well, why don't we dig them up? I have a video in uh, this. We found two. Uh, we have in, in a video we have one, but uh, we have completely one fantastic scan of an half cat, half uh, uh, chain, half That's chain right. car. Yeah, and we have completely. We can see inside the the position of the of the cannon and so on. We have all. Nobody is interesting that. Well, I think we. We should go dig tanks. Yeah, that's the same problem. Who wants to make the work? And what we do after that, the problem is we have the, uh, 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 a car and the government say, oh, we could put it in a dump, make it um, uh, uh, metal and put it down. It goes not in a museum. That is our problem. So let it Well, if I have, I, I have tank, a lot of tank collectors over here that would probably pay an arm and a leg for an old German tank to restore. So that might be possible. Ask, ask them. I tell them the I position will. and when they put it out, I have my first time when I was uh, correctly say, 
I have touched that what I see on my geo radar. <laughs> no problem. I I All right. I have I have I, I earn no money on this. It's, it's no problem. I only want to say the, the position and to dig it out and I can say here is my photo. I stay on my geo radar. <laughs> Just I only want to help you do that. <laughs> yeah, we can All right, do it. we have another That's question. Uh I have a question a little bit. We talk about the uh, front. I will show uh, the audience uh, in America. That is here my last uh, picture, my book here, what I say about uh, the uh, Alpenfestung. And we mm -hmm. want to talk uh, to ask some of the audience uh, if some writer is in uh, America and wants to uh, make my uh, books in America for translate and uh, uh, yes. for selling yeah. the books. Uh, I, I, I want to search for a writer to make it. He has contact to me by email. There's no problem. You find it by Tino or you can uh, watch my channel. Yeah. There's an email address and we need a prime you need, printer. You need a book America. publisher. You need a book publisher in America and England to get all your books out in English. And we yes. really, really do need that because so much information is published in other languages that the right. English speaking uh, people don't right. get. So, yes. Uh, we are all looking for publishers for you, and uh, definitely something that needs to be done. And, and, and I have the rights. Found, for, for, I have the rights for twelve books. We can start very hard. <laughs> and translation shouldn't be a problem. Yes, good that's point. Right. Good, good, good yeah. point. You have, uh, you have some questions. Magnet readings on any of your locations, or will you ever take any? What is ma uh, meaning with magnetic readings? What What is the um, question about that? Are you talking about electromagnetic or magnetic? Well, well GeoRadar is like GeoRadar on the airplanes. Uh, we send an uh, 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 um, electric signal in the ground and get what uh, uh, and um, empfangen. Oh, God. Jesus. Uh, uh, re recumbed. It will uh, recumbed uh, back and then we can um, use it. Uh, the, 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 ah, that's too much technical. <laughs> so, uh, uh, we no, use, I'm... We, use, we use the back coming shine. We, we, we uh, put uh, the shine in the stone and uh, what uh, coming back the uh, computer makes a picture from. That it works. No, it has no electrical and magnetical that is not, not working like that. Exactly. Next question. Um, I'm just, uh, 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 to, to, I, have, I have an answer to Spaceman Leo. A kitten crud is worth more than uh, $100,000. Uh, now is finding one in Poland. I have one in Berlin. You, you can ask me. <laughs> <laughs> I oh. make it for fifty. I make it for fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what's the next hiking day or Waffenplatz in Ordorf? Uh, Patrick, I don't know. I will soon as I get out to Europe in a month, in a couple hear, of months. I hear something. The third, you uh, third of June. I hear something about that. Third of June uh, uh, in this uh, time will be open to go on the. Truppenübungsplatz. Okay. Oh, really? In, in the yeah. top, there's going to be a fueling there for, in, in the place? In the place. It's open uh, open day. You can go Is that there. just for the caserne or is that for the, the, the memorial? Or? I don't know. I think, I think it's the whole place. Really? Uh, 3rd so. of June, you say? I hope so. <laughs> uh, will I you let me know so I, I can make sure I'm going to be there? I blow it, blockade everything <laughs> for the state. Well, you know, the, 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 the moment you and I show up, they're not going to let us in. Uh, why not? We'll, but uh, we'll the have problem to go through is, the back door. I, 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 I hear that uh, you can't go for yourself on the place. I think you must uh, take a, a, a wagon and you will be drived with a car, with a car around this area and what the status of you? Oh, yes, I'm sure they're there. not going to let us drive ourselves. Um, uh, I can't, I have I a can't Polish... tell 
the status, I can't tell it, uh, by the army takes it out. And uh, so we don't want, uh, don't have any information where it is. We have talked about it here in Poland. Yes, uh, but uh, the problem is uh, the bombs are out and uh, we think it's gone to America. That makes sense. Um, thank you all. I think our, I think our people are going to bed. <laughs> uh, and uh, yes, I know. I heard. I saw about the link. I'll change it afterwards. Uh, apparently, the link I put up for your channel didn't work, so maybe I did it wrong. I have to fix, but I'll fix that in a minute. Um, you want a kettle hot? Well, you know what, Spaceman Leo? I have a friend of mine in Michigan. He builds uh, kettle hots. And, yes. um, new, new one the, or the, the, uh, restore, restore all? So you can have a new one. Okay. Uh, he, he builds them and he builds a Schwimmwagen as well. But he builds yeah. them new according to old design. So if you want one, you can actually, actually works. Uh, <laughs> out in Michigan by Flint, and uh, I filmed out there. He also have in Hetza, uh, and a couple of other Americans have all sorts. All the old American uh, German stuff came to America. <laughs> so yeah, you got to come over and uh, drive some tanks one day. W what did you do in the army? Uh, oh, I started in um, in Munster by the uh, tank uh, uh, school. And, there you go. And, yeah, and I make some times uh, in uh, testing, and uh, yeah, I stay in the ground, uh, lying in the dirty, and uh, <laughs> have some fun with weapons. That is only uh, I was I was a supporter. I was a supporter for the army, and yeah. uh, so um, now I have uh, the. I, I was sixty three, and now I get, I don't go to the army and have some fun there. But it was a funny time before, and uh, why not? Yeah. Tank driving. It was. Uh, it, it, it was. I have, I, have, I have two videos in my channel where I make my uh, license, uh, drive, driver license for a T-34. <laughs> I have two videos inside. <laughs> it, it's a hell to pull that thing around. I mean, the driver <laughs> in a T-34. But it, absolute it, only funny. <laughs> That's it, funny. It is. Yeah. But it's a I, lot of work. I think every person in German and all over the world must be have a T-34 in his garage. <laughs> okay, they need or, to start building some. Then. Or some other things, but uh, Leopard 2A is not uh, available. <laughs> have you been doing any digging in Spain? No, too far away. I wanted to go to the Canary Islands to see uh, some of the submarine tunnels from the war, but I can't pay anything for that. Uh, the, the, the problem is uh, we are only, um, yeah, we, we are on the position right now by Corona, two years lost. Uh, only what we take on money, so we eat it. It is from hand to yeah, mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a problem now. Yeah, that's very true. Um, well, someone is asking if we can do this again, and uh, obviously I'm going to say yes. Yeah, but um, uh, I think I see I see no more new questions here. Yeah. All right. Um, will you let me know uh, about the fuel if you hear a date so I can post it? And. It's not Oh, I think we make it easy. Uh, we, uh, we have contact by email and so... We can you and I will absolutely. Uh, and, when, and I will be out there. When it is I'm something talk, out. we talk by, uh, by video yes. here. Yes. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to send a link to some of your books to my manager who knows some publishers to see yeah. if she can push something. Um... Thank you. We'll, we'll, we'll see. But I'm coming out there mid-April, mid, mid to late April, 
I'll be yeah. in Europe for a couple of months, and I will me. let you know so we can meet up. Right. You send me and, uh, uh, maybe, contact. I, 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 and, uh, I was, uh, we have a good restaurant in, uh, you know, <laughs> we can eat something. <laughs> 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 the audience must know uh, we, we, we meet us uh, there. And, as, yeah. as, as long as there's cute waitresses and beer, I'm happy. It doesn't yeah. take much. Uh, I think I think it will be three years ago. Yes, three years ago. Two, two, two? okay. Two, two. Uh, Corona, Corona uh, has a problem. Two years lost, and uh, I have no feeling about the time. I know. I mean, you know, after thirty years old, you don't need to watch time anymore. It's just yeah. one of the. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Hey, then we can stop the right now. I, I will see no you in a couple of. Hello, Chris Somko. Thank you for watching. What hammer? I'm sure I want to magnet fishing in Berlin. Uh, yes, you can for fishing there, but uh, the problem is we have so much videos uh, from a German group. They were magnet fishing in Berlin, and it's all cleaning. They n you find nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Been there, done that. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, we have we have some secret communication on email later. Yeah, and so I think that is not the last video what we make on the internet. I think no. we're coming more next time. Maybe, I was maybe, talking. maybe I can talk you into coming to that place in Jonastal with your uh, GPR, and we'll take a look under that intersection. Yeah, and so we make a completely a full video about searching from beginning in the computer with no changing the view. Uh, on the computer and see what we found. That is one Agreed. one sentence in one video. So never can everything, everybody can say uh, we are uh, um, fake something. That is very important. Okay, <laughs> I'm proud that it works now. And uh, so I think uh, have a nice day ne ne next week. And uh, you, for you is Sunday now or is it uh, yes. Monday? S Sunday afternoon. Sunday. Okay. You, uh, I have All right, Maria. Sunday and um, for the audience. Thank you for watching. Gute Nacht, schönen Abend, auf Wiedersehen. Vielen Dank, tschüss und auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> Tschüssi. Vielen Dank, tschüss und auf Wiedersehen.